I just made a major move in my personal dividend portfolio. In this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what that move was, what the implications of it are, and how it affects my overall dividend portfolio. And if you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet I'm using in this video, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So if you've watched the channel before, you may have noticed just a few days ago, I made a video talking about three stocks that I just recently sold. And basically, the implications of that video is I'm trying to focus on investing into quality dividend growth companies that will continue to increase the amount they pay in dividends over time. So I sold out of a few higher yielding positions so I could make that move. But because I made that move, I had a lot more cash on hand. And this week I put some of that cash to use. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I bought a fund that I've been talking about on the channel for a while now, and that is SCHD, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. We can see this is a fund that has a really nice starting dividend yield, currently sitting at 3.61%. And one of the goals for my personal dividend for portfolio is I want to have a starting dividend yield sitting at close to 3 0.5%. So it definitely aligns with my values in that regard. Obviously, I want to see share price appreciation as well. And if we look at the past 10 years, we can see this fund has grown over 120%. So it's performed pretty well. And obviously, I want to see dividend growth. And if we look at the dividend data here on Seeking Alpha, we can see they have a three year compounded annual dividend growth rate of 14.1 five year of 13.7 and 10 year of 12.2. So really good history of dividend growth. If we look at those dividend payments over time, over the last 10 years, obviously that reaffirms that really solid dividend growth. And something really cool about this fund as well, when you take a year like 2022, huge bear market that saw the S&P 500 drop 20%, during that time period, SCHD only dropped 6.5%. So it is somewhat of a hedge against bear markets as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to my investment dashboard and plug in this new position in my portfolio. We'll click on the stocks tab. I'll come here, plug in SCHD. And I actually added a large amount to my portfolio. I added 92 shares at a purchase price of $71.80. So when I hit enter, you can see all of this data is going to automatically load in. So let's go ahead and jump over to my investment dashboard and see what some of the changes look like. And the first two things that I am gonna point out is if we go ahead and blow this up, you can see SCHD now takes up 10.7% of my personal dividend portfolio. So this was definitely a major position. The only larger position I have than this is Microsoft, which makes up about 14.5% of my dividend portfolio. If we look at our stock allocation by industry, we can now see ETFs overall make up 30% of my dividend portfolio. Technology is pretty large as well because of that Microsoft position. It's about 27%. We have real estate at 9.6, consumer defensive 11.3, and financials at 8.6. Point nine. And it's really important we understand this allocation, but I'm going to come back and talk about that just a little bit later. Let's go ahead and jump over to my dividend dashboard. And we can see because of this move that I just made into my dividend portfolio, my expected yearly dividend income is now officially over $2,000. So that's definitely a major milestone. Average monthly dividends closer to $170. And my portfolio dividend yield, although it's dropped a little bit over the last few months because of some reallocation I've been doing in my portfolio, it's sitting at around 3.35%. Again, I want to get that a little bit closer to 3.5%. And SCHD definitely helping me with that since they have a starting dividend yield right now of 3.5%. 0.61%. If we come over here, we can see my dividend income by each individual position. SCHD will be paying me $235 every single year, which is more than any of my other positions. So definitely a pretty major move. And if we look at my dividend income by industry now, we can see ETFs are going to be paying me 22% of my dividend income. So again, ETFs will be paying me more in dividend income than any other industry as we can see right here. Now let's go ahead and jump back over to our investment dashboard. And this is what I really want to talk about in this video. And that's understanding allocation when you invest into individual stocks and you also invest into ETFs. Let's go ahead and show an example. I'll go ahead and blow this chart back up. Actually, let's start with our stock allocation by industry. That may make more sense. And we can see again, ETFs now make up 30.6% of my dividend portfolio. And like we saw here, SCHD is almost 11%. We can see technology also at 27 and financials at about 9%. But if we jump back over to Seeking Alpha, let's go ahead and look at the holdings. One of the things you'll notice about this fund is 19.14% of the holdings in this fund are financials and 17.57% is technology. So you need to understand 
Just because you buy a fund such as SCHD that is properly diversified, if you hold a lot of individual stocks in your personal dividend portfolio, you may be over allocating and have too much risk into one individual sector or one individual company. So like I said, technology is 27.1% of my dividend portfolio, but because I invested into SCHD, I definitely got a lot more exposure to that industry as you can see right here because 17.57% of this fund is in technology. So just because you buy an ETF doesn't mean you're properly diversified. Let's go ahead and look at the individual stocks and look at that example as well. Again, SCHD close to 11%, but if we jump back over to Seeking Alpha, we'll scroll down, look at these top 10 holdings. We can see the number one holding is Broadcom. It makes up about 5.21% of SCHD, but this is actually a fund I have in my dividend portfolio as well. You can see right here, Broadcom AVGO makes up about 3.1% of my dividend portfolio. So with some quick math, we can see how much more exposure I just added to my dividend portfolio. I added around $6,500 of SCHD, and because Broadcom makes up about 5.21%, I can do quick math again, and we'll just take this number here and multiply it by this percent allocation in SCHD. And we can see basically I put $338.65 more into Broadcom. So even though I didn't invest directly into Broadcom, I did add more exposure to that fund. So that's an extremely important concept to understand because you could think you're properly diversified if you're investing into ETFs, but that is not always the case. Another example of that may be, let's say I invested into Amazon, Tesla, Microsoft, and Apple, but then I went and bought a tech ETF. I may think I'm diversifying my investments, but I'm really not. I'm just adding more exposure to my already overexposed tech portfolio. So this is definitely an interesting move. I'm willing to answer any questions down in the comments. I'll get to as many as I can, but I'll talk more about this move definitely in my next monthly portfolio update. But I did want to go ahead and let you guys know about this move because part of the goal of this channel has always to be as transparent as possible. So that's basically why I made this video. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.